today I'm going to show you my skincare routine. I know no one asked for this, but I'm really proud of the progress my skin has made since last year to this year. So here's a picture of my skin in February. My skin looks, it's been going through a lot of stuff that month. And then here's my skin in July, or was it June? Whatever six is. So that is how my skin journey has looked this year alone. And it's not been easy. I decided this year to commit a lot of my funds to uh, finding good skincare and getting good skincare advice because I really wanted to knock my skin in the butt and get it into gear. So that is what I've been committed to this year and I think I finally made it. Um, my skin right now has nothing on it except for maybe sunscreen and like what I did in my morning routine. It's about like 10.30 right now, so I'm about to go to bed. So this is, don't mind the sweat, it's very hot in here. This is what my skin looks like. There's a little bit of scarring still, but not a lot of active acne right now. This is because of uh, stress with school. So that is starting to spring up again. And these are from masks, mask me. But this is really good still. And I'm gonna show you guys how I got my skin into this condition. This isn't how it normally is. This is just because of stress and masks, but I'll show you guys how I was able to go from February to July and how I've been able to stay pretty consistent. So my first step is pinning back all of my hair because I got ambitious when I cut it recently. Gave myself little parts that dangle down and then bangs. So I need to pin all that back because it's in my way. And I've gotten a ton of bad advice, of skincare advice in my time trying to manage my skin throughout the years. <laughs> so I'll do a separate video on that so you guys don't make the same mistakes I do. But I'll just show you guys the good. So after you do your hair up, next step is you're gonna wanna wash your hands cause this is what's gonna be touching our faces so we don't wanna be cleaning our faces with dirty hands. And I will also be switching to voiceover now because I have to put a fan on because it's very hot. And I also um, don't know how to talk with water on my face. So here I am in voiceover mode. So that's me just washing my hands and drying it off with a little jig. Because you know you want to have fun while doing your skincare because skincare isn't a chore. It's something you should enjoy. So since I wear sunscreen every day like everyone else should, I do need to double cleanse. The sunscreen I used is the Centella Purito unscented one. And this is the Biosance Squalene Antioxidant Oil Cleanser. And I just use one pump of that and then you put it all over your face. And you just want to rub this in really gently. I'm kind of a little rough with my skin, I think, but I do think I do okay with it. And you'll feel like a little bit of granulars building up, but I don't think that's actually dirt. I think that may just be a presentation thing. I don't really know. All I know is it worked, and by adding in a second cleanser to my routine, that literally changed the game for my skin. I'm gonna be saying that a lot, it changed the game, because these things really did change the game for me. And yes, while I'm doing my face, I will notice that uh, my cheeks get a little chubby. So first you're gonna wet your hands and then you're gonna, uh, I forgot what it's called. It makes the solution a little bit milky. So then it's, it, it takes off the dirt and the sunscreen a little bit better. I don't really know what the purpose is for getting it milky, but it works. And I had a song stuck in my head all day, so don't mind that. And then you're just gonna rinse it off regularly with water. So I'll be right back to do cleanser. And yeah, <laughs> I go a little bit blind after I do the water. But with my face still wet to save water, I'm going to use the, um, um, oh my God, I forgot the name of it and I didn't even show it. Hold up. But yeah, you're just gonna foam that up on your hands and put it on your face. What is the name of that cleanser? I use it literally every morning and night and I can't remember it. 
It's that French one that Skincare by Hiram recommended. I'll put it in the bio, in the description box. You, you'll know what it is, okay? <laughs> and you're just gonna peekaboo, 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 <laughs> and get it all clean up in every part of your face. You don't wanna miss any part because this is where you're gonna get all that double cleansing off, get all the oil, dirt, anything that was left over off your face and rinse that off and I use a white washcloth to wipe off most of my cleanser and anything I use on my face because I used to accidentally bleach my mom's towels so I just pat dry with a white washcloth so I don't get in trouble <laughs> And then next, I wipe off the counter because I always make a mess. That's just how it is. <laughs> and then next, I'm going to go in with um, the Peter Thomas Roth Cucumber Gel Mask. I didn't get the full size because it's quite expensive, so I got a sample size to try out. I'm liking how it works so far. It does get rid of the inflammation and... Um, it kind of smells a little strange, but it's okay. And um, it clears up my acne the next day, but I only use it once a week, so I don't see significant changes, if you know what I mean. So I don't know if it's worth the um, $55 price tag. If I can find a cheaper solution, I would probably use that, but I do enjoy using it. So it's a cute little splurge for now, but I don't think I will be repurchasing it. <laughs> trying to get it all over my face here but as you can tell it is a clear mask so it's hard to know when you've got it everywhere and then just check in with yourself how you doing you having fun yes you are yes I do enjoy dancing while doing my masks I'm not listening to music this is just how I am I always have in my music in my head <laughs> so sometimes I do need to act on that. There we go, doing a little robot, add in the shoulders, flip around, and then yes, an existential crisis in the middle of skincare while I'm waiting for the mask to finish drying. You know, that's just how it is. Sometimes we do get too much into our heads. So after washing that off, I blindly reach for the towel, but it's always in the same place, so I find it. But my towel is wet now, so it's a little gross, but I don't have another white towel out, so that's just how it is, how we do, what we're dealing with. Feeling good about my skin now, though. It looks glowy. Next, I don't actually use these. These are uh, green tea gel patches for underneath the eyes. They're awesome for after crying, but since I did do a other mask, I'm not going to do that because it's too much but it is awesome for uh, just taking care of yourself and treating yourself a little bit because you do want to have fun with your skincare, as I said before. Next, I'm doing the Ultra Repair First Aid Beauty Oat um, Toner and the cap hurt me a little bit and I'm just gonna get a few drops of that on my hand and I'm going to pat that into my skin and Where's the padding? Come on, there we go, pat, pat, pat. Uh, there I hit myself a little bit too hard, but I'm just making sure that's all absorbed because I do have dry spots on my skin, but my skin is mostly oily. I don't know, it's temperamental. It doesn't do what I want it to, so I have products for oily skin and products for dry skin, but it's not exactly a combination. This is my Holy Grail, the Ordinary Niacinamide Zinc um, <laughs> solution. This absolutely changed my skin once I introduced it. But I have been noticing that it's getting a little strong paired with the uh, La Roche Posay uh, cleanser because the cleanser also has niacinamide in it. So I may be changing my cleanser back to the Youth to the People 
Uh, that's me noticing my acne is kind of bad in that spot from the mask. But I will be thinking about changing back to the youth to the people or changing my niacinamide because it is a holy grail, but it is 10% and 10% is quite strong. But we'll see how my skin does because masks and stress make stuff a little bit hard. And that's me uh, attempting to massage my face like I saw on TikTok, but being unsuccessful. Next, since my face is very moist, I need to dry it off with my Aloha Fan. But as you can tell, I got distracted thinking about a Shaolin um, martial artist that I saw on the internet and how they did fancy fan tricks. So while I'm meant to be drying my face, I am trying to find a cool way to close the fan. But since it's a plastic fan, it doesn't function the same way. <laughs> back to uh, back to the regularly scheduled program drying my face and it does take a while I usually can go on my phone while I'm waiting for it to dry but my phone is currently being used to record next I'm going in for the classic chapstick brand regular chapstick sometimes I go on top of that with Vaseline since you can't put chapstick on during the night but it is nice this is uh, acne Tentronol gel and clindamycin. This was prescribed to me by my dermatologist. So I didn't really touch on this, but I had cystic hormonal acne, and that isn't something you can treat on your own. I did need to go see a dermatologist to uh, get a hold on my acne initially, but the products I mentioned as my holy grail really did make a huge difference. I'm not sure how much of a difference it would have made without the dermatologist prescribed um, topicals, but in combination, everything worked out really great. So I do recommend going to see a dermatologist if you have the capabilities, but otherwise, try your best. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a very hard thing to navigate with insurance and seeing doctors. So this is me waiting for my face to dry again. And I'm singing, I feel pretty, but you can't hear that. So this is the time I probably spend the longest looking at my face throughout the day. So as an actress, I do practice faces I could potentially make for either YouTube, auditions, on stage, or on camera, because your face is your craft. And I remember reading that Jim Carrey used to do this, and that's how he got all those fantastic faces for the Grinch. So sometimes when I am just have free time and I can't go on my phone, I will practice faces. <laughs> but most of them are just silly, not real faces you would probably be able to use in acting. But it is what it is. This is me noticing how long my neck is. Because <laughs> from front on, it doesn't look that long, but on the side angle, you're like, oh my god, I'm a giraffe. <laughs> There's so much going on in my mind at all times. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Just drying it off. Okay, this is almost the final step. It is the iUnique Centella Calming Gel Cream. And this is an awesome lightweight uh, moisturizer. It's great. I love it. And I think this does help with the inflammation and redness that I get on my face. Like, as you can see, my cheek is a little bit red right now from all the treatments I've been doing. But this, I wake up with absolutely flawless skin. Like, all the acne I was showing you earlier will be gone by tomorrow. I love it. Woo! And I have this just for funsies. The watermelon glow mist. I just wanted something fun that I could spritz on him during the day and Hiram said this was Hiram approved so I thought why not treat myself during everything that's going on it's quite expensive but you know what whatever <laughs> and these are godsend their acne dot patches by Alba if you have cystic acne when they have the head Put those on them and they will be gone but I'm not gonna use them tonight because it's don't want to over treat so that
that is all I have for you guys today. Um, really the most important thing to do when formulating your skincare is to look at the ingredients, look what actually works for you, and try stuff out, but test it one at a time so if you do have a reaction to something, you know what it is, so it's easier to pinpoint. But yeah, everyone's skin is different. Abnormalities are normal. Skin texture, blemishes, skin discoloration, that's all completely normal. Not everyone's gonna have flawless, perfect skin. So that's all for me today. I will see you guys maybe on Thursday. Who knows? So yeah. I will have all the products I used listed down below, and um, it's late, I can't think. Hope you guys are healthy and safe. Love you, bye.